So here's a blurry picture of Thomas Aquinas. This is going to be a new series called Pulling a St. Thomas Aquinas. <laughs> um, the only reason I add saint in there, I don't think he's a saint, um, is because it spells pasta. I think my spelling is bad. It was going to be P-A-T-A, -A, but no. But add the S, and I was like, oh, that's a good idea. Because what, what Thomas Aquinas did was he argued against atheism before atheism he tried to think of ways of arguing against things that were indisputable of dogmas like what you know like to defend the faith um like what if somebody said there is no god how could i prove a god and that's where still some of the arguments for god can be found in philosophical textbooks like a philosophy class i took years ago had his arguments in it you know <clears throat> so, these are questions that, um, some of them are questions that uh, I've been asked, and then some of them are, well, you know, like, uh, I think the first one I'll do is, why, why do the, orth about icons, isn't us having icons in the second commandment, you know, why can I bash Mormonism for going so much against the the Old New Testament, while, you know, we seemingly go against the Second Commandment. And that's a big one for the Protestants, too, that I always bring that up. And I don't think the Roman Catholics actually deal with it very well, because uh, they actually just rewrote the damn thing, and then split the tenth one in two. Peace to you.